Hello everybody and welcome back to Perfect English with me, Alex. Hope you're all okay. This week's video I'm going to do 20 British idioms that all have animals in the name. I get a lot of requests for idioms and I post a lot on Instagram and Facebook so I hope this video will be beneficial to you all. And as always, if you want to improve your English speaking, head down to the description, click on my Audible link. Audible is a great way to improve your English listening and speaking. You can listen to books that are being read by native English speakers. So head down to the description and listen to your Audible books. Also, head over to Instagram and Facebook. Check me out at Perfect English Alex. Also, please be sure to like this video, leave a comment and subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be notified of a new video every single week. But here we go. 20 British idioms all about animals. Okay, so idiom number one, to make a dog's dinner of something. This means to make a mess of something. I thought I could trust him to do that simple task, but he has made a dog's dinner of it. He has made a mess of it. Idiom number two, there's plenty more fish in the sea. We use this when a relationship has ended as a way to tell somebody that there are plenty more people in the world for them to meet. You had a good time together, but there are plenty more fish in the sea. Number three, when pigs fly. This is used to talk about something that is unlikely to ever happen. Pigs will fly before you beat me at this game. Number four, busy as a bee. This means really, really busy. I'm doing so much extra work at the moment. I'm busy as a bee. Number five, the elephant in the room. This is used a lot. A topic that everybody knows about, but nobody wants to talk about. We need to talk about the elephant in the room. We think you are drinking too much alcohol. Number six, the lion's share. This means the main portion or part of something. I planned the whole job, so I want the lion's share of the money. I want most of the money, the lion's share. Number seven, hold your horses. This means stop, calm down and think for a second. Don't rush. Hold your horses. Let's take a second to think this through. Number eight, to be a one trick pony. This is somebody who does the same thing over and over and over and over again and never changes. That bowler can only bowl Yorkers. He is a one trick pony. And number nine, to quit cold turkey. This means to stop doing something very, very suddenly. My dad smoked for 30 years and then he quit cold turkey. He suddenly stopped smoking. He quit cold turkey. Number 10, a red herring. This is something that misleads you or distracts you from the truth. Used a lot in English TV, like police shows and detective shows. The police spent all these days looking for a gun, but it was a red herring. They actually used a knife. And number 11, wouldn't hurt a fly. This is somebody who would not hurt or do damage to anyone or anything. She can't have done this. She wouldn't hurt a fly. Number 12, ants in your pants. This is someone who's constantly moving and jumping around and fidgeting around. Why can't you sit still? Do you have ants in your pants? It's quite a funny one. We say this a lot to children who are constantly moving around when they are very small. And number 13, to kill two birds with one stone. This means to complete two tasks at the same time. My mum lives next to the supermarket, so I can kill two birds with one stone and go and see my mum and then go shopping. 
14. A wild goose chase. To chase something that is impossible. I want to be a professional footballer, but I think that's a wild goose chase. And number 15, I really like this one. The world is your oyster. It means you are free to do whatever you want. Now I've quit my job, I can go anywhere and do anything. The world is my oyster. And number 16, to be a bull in a china shop. This means you are constantly breaking things or knocking things over. You've only been here five minutes and you've already broken three things. You are like a bull in a china shop. And number 17, it's a dog eat dog world. This means that it's very competitive. It's a competitive world. I can't be too nice to my colleagues because it's a dog eat dog world. Okay, and number 18, to move at a snail's pace. You may know this one already. It means to move slowly. Oh, I'm sorry I'm late. I was stuck behind a car that was driving at a snail's pace. It was going so slowly. And number 19, to be a guinea pig. This means you are the first person to try something new. This is used a lot with medication. People will be guinea pigs to try new medication. But we can also say it to our friends. I'm trying out a new curry tonight. I'm going to make a new curry. Do you want to come and be my guinea pig? Do you want to come and try it for the first time? And number 20, to open a can of worms. This means to say or do something that creates more problems than before. Oh, I didn't mean to tell him that. I shouldn't have said that. I have opened a big can of worms. Now he knows. So now it's your turn. This week's homework from this video is to take your favorite idiom and create a sentence using it. So I want you to leave one comment on the video with your favorite idiom and an example of using it. Thank you all so much. And like I said at the start of the video, please check me out on Facebook and Instagram at Perfect English Alex. And please, if you like this video, head down and give it a like, leave a comment with the homework, and please subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell to be notified of a new video every single week. But that is it for this week. So thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next week. Bye bye.